Hey everybody, Stephen Bogren here from Pro Physique, and today what I want to talk about is what we should do before, before we diet. Hey everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful freaking day. Man, ah, oh, December, we're here. Almost done, 2020, almost there. You guys have almost made it. So I think this is a really nice thing to talk about going into the new year because, hey, what do a lot of us like to do come the new year? We have a resolution. I'm gonna lose that weight. I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna get into the gym again. I'm gonna be more active. I'm gonna pay more attention to my health. And I think, those are all wonderful, great goals to have. Those are all wonderful, awesome resolutions to make. But the question becomes, how do we make them more realistic? So the question becomes, how? How do we set ourselves up for success? And for a lot of us, that comes with doing a little bit of work before we actually make the change. So making sure that we're in a good place to not only be successful with those changes, but to make sure that it's not putting too much strain and stress on us. And so a lot of that is just, like I said, preparation, right? If you wanna make a really great strength, you're going to marinate it. You're going to make sure that it's had time to percolate. I don't think that's true, but that's coffee, right? Something different, doesn't matter. Anyways, a little bit of preparation can go a long way. So, since we still have some time before the new year starts, before the transformation challenge starts for Pro Physique, if you're gonna be taking part in that, I think absolutely now is a really, really good time to set that foundation for success. So let's talk about how we're gonna do that. First and foremost, the best thing that you can do is having knowledge. So understanding, I think, where your, you personally, E Y O U, your calorie intake is at. And that is simple. You take your phone, pew, pew, phone, it's there. I don't think you guys need to see, check out my sweet pro physique, whatever this thing's called. Bam! Anyways, doesn't matter. Buy a phone, I just threw it. Take your phone, get my fitness pal, fit day, my macros plus, um, any and whatever uh, tracking application that you like, that you think you will do well with, beep, 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 put it on your phone. Put it on there, okay? And just start tracking everything you're eating and drinking. And now I think this is the hard part because a lot of us want to just immediately start changing our um, you know, eating habits, our drinking habits. So being consistent with that so that we have an actual good baseline of data to know where you're starting from. And that's your number one. It's your baseline, it's your data. What am I doing? Really knowing what you're doing. What is my calorie intake? What's my protein intake? What's my carbohydrate and fat intake? And, and looking at those things, okay? Because for some of us, those might be really low already and we might not be in a good place to diet. We have to be honest with ourselves about that. Otherwise, again, we set ourselves up for failure. Um, I digress. Knowing where you're at though, that is the foundation of understanding, hey, I, psh, I'm eating 2,700 calories a day. Cool, okay? And then paired along with that, they are buddies, they walk hand in hand through the sand, um, is paying attention to how your weight is responding. Now, normal fluctuation from day to day is in fact normal. Uh, so <laughs> we don't wanna get too freaked out about that. So we wanna look at that average weight and see how it's moving. We wanna see, are we gaining weight over time? Are we losing weight over time? Are we maintaining? and then make a decision from there on what we are needing to do. If we're maintaining weight, our calories are in a good place, we can cut calories, awesome. When the new year comes, when the transformation challenge starts, we have a great set point to drop down from. We have a good place to where we really know what's going on and we can make changes from. Uh, and if we're not, well then hey, we know that we can do some different things to set ourselves up for success, to be in a better place to be successful with that diet in the future. And to not only be successful with that diet, but to be successful with keeping the weight off long term so that next year we can have a new resolution and the year after that, a new resolution. And we can continue making progress on the big scheme long term. 
which is really the point, right? We don't want to have to keep doing the same thing over and over again um, just to get the same result we may not be happy with. Um, so number two, activity. So if we're not doing any activity and we're sedentary, this is a really easy one to be ready for because, hey, look, anything we add extra, it's all calorie expenditure, gonna make a really big impact. However, that's not the case for everyone. Some people are fairly active. They like to run, they like to cycle, they like to swim, um, they like to do the Zumba, they like to do the scuba. Are you do scuba? Be like the hippo. Ah, along K poly references. Anyways. Um, <laughs> so for some of us who are more active possibly, it might be something that we need to pay attention to in terms of making that sure that our activity is realistic um, to be able to add something to. If we're doing seven hours of cardiovascular activity per week, well, it might not be really viable for us to add more to that. It just might not be realistic. So we need to be aware of that as well. Um, and understanding, hey, we want that to be in a manageable place. And again, for the long term, being open with ourselves, I have more time to give to this, I don't have more time to give to this. Uh, is this realistic for the long term? Is it not realistic for the long term? Pay attention to how your weight and your body weight is responding with that. Be aware. As well as cardiovascular activity, your activity in the gym can be make a difference there. And understanding that if you've never been to the gym before, weight's not gonna be the most indicative thing ever. Um, and then just, again, working your way up over time with that. Um, and keeping it somewhere where it's realistic and reasonable for you for the long term for your lifestyle. Not everybody loves the gym. I get it, y'all. Trust me. I get it. I don't love all fitness things either. I am not to Zumba, okay? It's not my jam. It's not what I'm about. My hips lie a lot, okay? Um, I think it was Shakira. Shakira, you're wrong. My hips lie, okay? Um, so finding things you enjoy. And so whether that's cardio modality, whether that's the gym, whether it's types of workouts you enjoy or not, if your goal is to be a bodybuilder and a physique athlete, yes, it's probably important that you're utilizing some semblance of weight training. Um, if your goal is just to be healthy, it's probably not the most necessary thing. Um, can it be beneficial, especially for, let's say, women who are aging and uh, where osteoporosis is a concern? Yes, absolutely, it's 100% phenomenal for that. Um, however, can we still be healthy, have good blood markers, feel good, have good energy, and do that kind of stuff without resistance training? Yes. Or maybe with minimal resistance training. Maybe we hit the weights a couple times a week, two days a week. Awesome. It's not anything overwhelming. We find a modality or workout we enjoy. We get that stimulus in. We're still good. So I think for me, really, all of my foundational stuff to consider before you diet um, is making sure that it's going to be realistic for you, setting yourself up for success. Um, I think oftentimes we have these ideas um, and we, we're going after that end goal without looking at that path of how to get there and making sure we can walk that path, making sure that that's realistic and doable for us. So too long, didn't read, make sure that we're in a good spot and we're setting ourselves up with something that we can manage um, and really knowing where we're at, how we're going to get from point A to point B before that new year hits.